You're logged on to UStreamRadio.com, bringing you the finest independent music and urban talk radio. Thank you for logging on. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get this thing going. Hey, we want to thank y'all again for tuning in to another episode of the Ustream Radio Recap, where we bring you the latest and the greatest going on right now on Turn Up Tuesday. Yo, Turn Up Tuesday, you know that, right? Why didn't you turn up? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Of course, uh, brought to yeah. you by UstreamRadio.com and one of our proud sponsors, Cashland. Make sure you get some of the hottest gear out there. At Cashland Apparel, you can also go to UstreamRadio.com, click the icon, and you can check out some of the hottest clothes that's coming out this season. They got some real nice stuff. Check your boy out. Look at me on Instagram. You'll see what they got going on. What's up, Loki? What's going on? Man, I'm loving the weather, though. I'm, I'm loving I have, the weather. I, you know, we I, I, just have, I just have to throw that out there because we was like in a state of emergency twice in two months. <laughs> Uh, you, you know how everybody was teasing us, right, about the ice storms and all that stuff. Now we got this yeah. lovely weather. You feel like you can cook outside, you know, 60 degrees. <laughs> I know y'all loving that. I know y'all mad. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I could be mad, too, because I'd rather be in this weather than in the snow right about now. Oh, definitely, definitely, and everything. We didn't definitely took a change. I don't know what they said. The groundhog, groundhog must not have seen his shadow. But you know, I didn't know. You know what I didn't know about groundhog day? I didn't know, low key, that each state, each state had their own groundhog. Did you know that? No, I thought it was just little Ponce, Ponce, whatever his Ponce took it. <laughs> no, I they each was state. Like, I just they all he was did. Like, I thought he was like the only groundhog. So what? What did the groundhog say? Look, they said the well, groundhog Atlanta. Which let me just make sure I put this out for the record. Y'all can Google it. <laughs> he didn't have what uh, they said ninety eight percent accuracy versus some of the oh, other really? states out there. Like uh, yeah, like New Jersey, New Jersey, Philly. They got one up there. Um, they got like a thirty nine or forty percent accuracy on their groundhog day. So. Hey, I don't but know. They have to go with that one. Yeah, <laughs> right. they, they, they need to just die the time. I am. <laughs> yeah, they might as well not use that one in New Jersey. Maybe his line is just retired. Like, <laughs> well, what, is, what, what did our groundhog say? Uh, oh, our groundhog said, you know, we, we, we're actually coming in, as you can see, with some of this beautiful weather. He didn't see a shadow, so. Fortunately, you know, we're going to be throwing on the grill barbecuing early this year. And I, I'm oh, looking yes. forward to it. I'm going to get pulled by next month. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> Definitely. Hey, let's get into it. There's so much crazy stuff going on in the news this week. Uh, Robin Thicke, fine ass Paula Patton. Enlighten me. What happened? What's going on? Talk to me. Man, okay, so it's reporting right now that Paula Patton, and Robin Thicke, who have been together since they were in high school. They were high school sweethearts. I believe they share a son together. And mm-hmm. both their careers are very, very successful at this time. Have announced their separation. Wow. Wow. I mean, I, I don't know. I may, I'm just going to address this question to you. I mean, myself, Paula Patton, I mean, guys, y'all know. Paula Patton, one of the baddest ones. She, she's the hot. She's one of the Holly Berries at this time. You know, Robin Thicke. You know, and I'm a Robin Thicke fan. But when I see them two together, uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. You know, she, <laughs> but you know when I when I see them together, <laughs> I, I I see his father. Me too. Like, like, I see Uncle Sam. Like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> all I see is growing pain. Kids, like. <laughs> Like you look like your father reincarnated, and that's what I see. And you look like you some um, odd place with this woman because it just seems some offset every time that I've seen them together. So you know, it's a sad situation. It's always a sad situation, it's you know, because they've been together for a long time. So you know, so yeah. I mean, well, I you know, they have everybody situations or whatever. What's that? I've got a question I want to ask you. I didn't mean to cut you off. Now, do you think after the blurred line, you know, they've been heavy, been together for a while, do you <laughs> think, you know, your boy, your, I don't know, he's feeling himself? Or maybe she's feeling herself. 
physically and you know mentally too. I don't know. What, what, what do you think? What do you think? Do you think that he's feeling himself right now uh, in this whole situation? I mean, with, uh, as, he could be, and I mean, he could be one of those individuals who feels like he's in the shadow because, unfortunately, for the media, they refer to him as Paula Patton's husband. Wow. You know, everybody's an individual. You know, he has his own career. He's his own individual. Granted, his son is, you know, I mean, he's the son of a actor that has been in television and movies since I was little. But he's still an individual. Mm. And nobody likes to be referred to as someone else in front of their name before you say who they are. Like, hi, I'm introducing uh, you as Low Key's partner on the radio station. This is Joe, you know, uh, Jay Jackson. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this when they, yeah. they're like, hey, we have Robin Tick, you know, Paula Patton's husband. Like, you know, he's an individual. And maybe he was feeling some type of way about not feeling his individuality and that he needed to go be an individual. Or it could just be that they've had long-term issues. I mean, we don't know. We're not in their house. But, I mean, I was hearing um, some things, um, you know, around the, the, the web. <laughs> Those episodes <laughs> here and there and people that there was some type of picture of some sort where he had his hand up someone's dress. I'm not too sure. I can't really put a name on it or anything. But the front view of the picture perceived to be one way and the back view of the picture was something opposite. You know, guys when they when they take a picture with their girl they usually have the hand on their butt or whatever. You know, it's it's the norm. <laughs> but they, oh, it's always expected. Like I expect your hand there. <laughs> but Man. your woman, not somebody else's woman. You know, I don't have nobody else hand on my up my dress while I'm taking the picture. It's not gonna go down that way. Like what you doing? But you know, it's unfortunate. I still don't know how I got eight by eight. the best, and I hope they can work it out because they do have a Me small child together. They've been together for a long time. They have a lot invested. And maybe they just, you know, need to get themselves back in check for a little bit. Absolutely. I wish them well. Uh, I, I think both of them going to be successful in what they do. They both have, they both can stand on their own. And they're mm -hmm. great at their careers and what they can do. And they don't need to walk in nobody's shadows. Now, speaking of shadows, speaking of shadows, I don't know if you heard about it or not, but my man Tick, you know Tigger, right? Tigger, not Tigger, yeah. uh, the DJ Tigger. <laughs> but Tigger, young money Tigger. <laughs> Tiger, 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 I'm sorry, Tiger, hey man, hey. Look, look how you spell it, man. But anyway, Tiger. Oh, I'll see Tiger. <laughs> Excuse me on that one. But oh uh, yeah, Tiger out there, you know, I don't know if you heard about it or anything. He, he spent 20K on uh, an Egyptian tune. For his new store, um, wow, that that's big right there. And you know the store is real classy. You know, what, what's your whole views on it? Twenty k on a real Egyptian mummy. I can say nobody in the rap game. You get it, rap game mummy. I, I don't think nobody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what's your views on that? I mean, that's definitely a different purchase for a store. You know, maybe for your, like your home, it's like a museum investment piece because at least it's something that will mature because it's a mummy, you know. I mean, I've always been fascinated with Egyptian um, history and things like that to the point where I've studied Absolutely. in school. So I've always been fascinated by it. And when I've actually been able to see one and touch one up close, it was something, a big deal for me. And... To have one in your store, I will be as a historian going just to touch it. <laughs> yeah. Just to go buy your clothes. Yeah, you know, yeah, it kind of takes looking, it a literally. different. I'm just looking. Right. I'm just going <laughs> to look because I have been studying those, you know, that history for years and anything and everything about it has always been fascinating. So I wouldn't be going to your store to buy whatever else is there. I'll be in there taking pictures, looking and checking out where did you get this? the topic is from who sold you somebody's body <laughs> basically <laughs> that's what it is a mummy is a person that was once living that is, has been mummified in that time period that has been discovered uncovered and is now present in our time so who sold you somebody's body 
to be wow. like a I mean, like why is it in a museum somewhere? That that's major, you know. And hey, I usually usually say this, you know, black people usually don't. We usually cop a body. But we don't cop a body like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah, I mean that's that's, 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 that's definitely a different you know purchase. I would have thought of to purchase as an item to decorate my you know my store with, but I appreciate the difference, the thought process, and maybe it would draw different types of people to your store because you have to look at it like this: what you put out there is what you're going to get back. So he has his store. He's investing the time to basically advertise it by using that sarcophagus, that money, which is what it is, yes. as a straw to come to his store to see what else is in there. Because when you're there, you're going to be like, oh, this shirt looks nice. <laughs> hey, but you know, you know what? I ain't even cut you off. You're, you're going to have you're gonna have all types of rabbits now walking around with shrunken heads and <laughs> Man, I just caught the, the pyramid. <laughs> you know, there's it, it, no, it's no like limit to see. People that like to one up each other, so therefore, I, you know, he's he's set the game up as they say. So he has a sarcophagus. Somebody's gonna go get a live body somewhere and keep it. Yeah, somewhere. a live body preserved in war. Like, I have, you know, King Tut. What do you have? You know, unfortunately, that's just how we are right now. Maybe we'll change in the next, you know, 20 years because right now, this this current 20 is what we're doing. So it, 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 it's crazy. And hey, I mean, my thing is, I say this, and I leave it alone. We move on. I say this: definitely a different type of purchase. That it, it is an investment. It's better than a Maybach, you mm -hmm. know, 30, 40k on the neck. You know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, diamonds or whatever it may. Diamonds, you know, that's a good, good investment depending on the clarity. Like, don't keep, don't keep buying these <laughs> colored diamonds. Right. Ooh, stop buying these colored diamonds. They're the lowest diamonds out there. Make sure your diamonds clear. You know, just like the Jews did. You know, but anyway, <laughs> I say, <laughs> you know, that's a whole other story. But make sure, be make respectful. <laughs> It's just real. I say, make sure you get them clear. And you know, they, they know they sell. But make mm -hmm. sure everything you get is authentic. And I say this right here. This, that was definitely a different type of purchase. And I hope that it can change the game and people getting into, you know, purchasing art and something worth something so they can be able to leave their yeah. family. Shots out for something that. Something like that longevity or whatever. Like, you know, if you're going to invest in something, you want something that's just not going to bring you profit right now, but longevity for your future as well. Because everything we do is not going to be forever. So whatever, Absolutely. you know, like he has children, I'm sure. So his kids can be set for their future because of the investments and things that he's doing right now. And, you know, make it set up to the point where he doesn't have to work and make another apple. I yeah. mean, because that's a good investment. No matter which way you look at it, I would have put it somewhere a little bit but safer, where I would have felt more protected by it. But, you know, he got it in a good position. More power. I mean, yeah, what you going to say about that, uh, Rick Ross, when he got a sarcophagus music or something? <laughs> Name that <laughs> reason don't sound too, too hot when you're dealing with that and everything. I don't know. Y'all mm -hmm. just know what y'all think. <laughs> Uh, you know, you can always hit us up, ustreamradio.com. Send us all of your questions, concerns, your opinions, you know, is well needed with us. You can always hit my hot, top of the line, top flight. Make sure you hit low key, uh, low key 93, hit up on Instagram, or you can always hit our group page, Ustream Radio Certified. Hey, let's get it in. Let's talk about it. Let's chop it up. I'm, I'm dying. To go into some of these things that we got going on because I'm getting some crazy stuff. Now, speaking of crazy stuff, did you see? I don't know if you've seen it. Did you see the picture of a uh, little scrappy mother online uh, uh, at some type of award show? This this look this dress that she had on. Did you have a chance to see that? No. Oh <laughs> my gosh, man! The way you Oh, uh, Mama D, please. Please, Mama D. You go to go to go to uh, Jay Jackson Real Instagram. Check that out. <laughs> I don't know what she was thinking. To me, I'd be embarrassed. She got this. She got stinks on. 
and she got this short skirt, right? And I don't, I don't know if you remember the video. Uh, remember the video R. Kelly had back in the days down low when when it was mm-hmm. that hot dress. Uh, that the lady, I forgot the girl, and they used to play on uh, the Jamie Foxx show. Real, real big, right? Like. But um, mm-hmm. anyway, she had that dress on. It was like the thing, you know, the little lace, and you could see everything, and, you know, real hot and everything. But me, me picturing Mama D. I want you to picture Mama D. <laughs> 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 In that same dress. <laughs> But a person, yeah, it's bad, bad look, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I say the same thing, man. I don't know. He, he needs to get. I, I can't say I, get I control of the mom. Before I, I can make a comment on it, but at the same time, you know, these people got stylists and things, and it always looks cute in the inside. Yeah. When we go outside, it's something different. So I'm, I'm gonna have to take a look at it myself before I can give a oh, valid my, opinion all I can on it. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, you know. wow. Off the chain. Man, I, I don't know. I think, like you just said, some people need, uh, like Kevin Hart says, you need some no people instead of yes people. So I'm like, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's hot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you need some, right. no, no, don't do it. All right. <laughs> you need to yes. All right. <laughs> you need, you're absolutely correct, though. You need somebody around yeah. you that's going to tell you no sometimes and not yes all the times. I know I do because... Everything isn't always yes. That's what you ask me. <laughs> Sometimes what you got on may not be yes. It may look you in your mind, but you walk out mm-hmm. and say your friends are. Your friends didn't tell you that you look like shit before you went outside? Because that's what I be thinking. Like, damn, my friends don't like me. If they had me going outside looking like this, or when I see, you know, people looking like SpongeBob SquarePants, I'm like, where are your friends at? Your friends let you walk outside like that. Let me look at your friends. Oh, that's why. Because y'all wear looking like fun five square pants. But <laughs> at least one person in the group had to have the fucking sense to say this shit ain't right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, whatever you got on is like, no. No. You know, no. I'm telling you, no. You don't do Definitely it. not a good look. <laughs> we, we all need, we all need some no people. We need, you, you want some couple yes people, you know, got your haters, but we need some no people to keep you balanced. Make sure you ain't going out there looking a ghetto hot mess. We got more ghetto hot mess after we go to this song and everything. We're going to go to a break. we want to come back. I want to get into, uh, when we come back, a uh, little key, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber, Neighborhood. Said we don't like your kind around here. You know, oh like, Lord, we oh, don't yeah, like your kind to around that. here, Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're gonna go into a little. <laughs> that's funny, right? We're gonna go into. Yeah. But let's go ahead and go to some music. More music. You stream radio recap. My girl, Low Key, your boy Jay Jackson. Hit me up. It's your boy. Chill with me, VD. Let go. Thank you for tuning in for Turned Up Tuesdays. On Ustream Radio Recap with my girl Low Key. What's going on with the people? Yo. <laughs> we getting Yo. it turned up here on Tuesday here in the ATL. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to keep it turned up. I'm trying to keep it turned up. <laughs> 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 you know, if y'all just joining us, of course, we're getting into, uh, man, Justin Bieber. Neighborhood. Oh, he, he was looking at, yeah, looking at some houses. Here in the ATL bucket, and they're here? getting a petition to get. Yeah, here in the here, ATL. Here? Trying He's trying to come to the A. Yes, the front door out of here. Yes, yes. Oh, but no, <laughs> uh, you notice I said trying because they didn't sign yeah. a petition, got signs and everything talking about we don't want you here. It's just funny because I don't know. He, I guess he's going through his little, uh, 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 he's really trying his fun thing out. You know, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago on the show and everything, and he's going through everything that a, a little mini black person would go through, right? Get the money, get this little charge, look, get this little felony charges, get this little media press, you know, getting sick, trying to get some jail time, you know, and now, now the neighborhood is telling him, even though you got the money, you know, you don't want you. Though. We don't want you in our neighborhood. We don't want you. And that's something. Wow. Well, it's, it's, it shows that money money can get you into everything. Absolutely. 
And it's only Absolutely. because his behavior and the way he's been acting and the people know that that's how he carries himself, they don't want that around. You know, you can't but help he, people treat you the way you act. So you can't be yeah. surprised. So he has conducted himself in a behavior to point with his neighbors. See, it's not like it's with people that's just random in the street or the paparazzi or like other people in the industry that have issues with. This is in a neighborhood where he lives, where people live, where they have their families, and they're trying to establish their growth, that they have a particular neighbor that's disrupting their neighborhood, where they have their kids, where they're trying to have their families, where they're trying to, you know, your house is where you're supposed to have peace. And if you already know this individual is a destructive individual to the neighborhood he lives in, yes, I would be one of those people sign a petition. Hell no, I don't want him in my neighborhood because he's a bunch of drama. Everybody could deal with drama, but every, everybody has a Jew that time when they're going to deal with the drama. And they already foresee the drama that he brings to a neighborhood. That is just because the actions of what he, is, he has done before. So, yeah, it's not surprising that his money can't even buy him into a neighborhood, whether he's white, which is usually, you know, something that we, we have to always make an acknowledgement of, unfortunately, because it's always going to be a color line, especially in the industry, especially when it comes to money and where you want to go. His money is not even buying him into a neighborhood. Maybe he needs to rethink the way he carries himself when he's at home and know that people who has worked hard to obtain that house, not to say that he hasn't worked hard because it is a job, but it's a little bit different. Our money comes a little bit different because his money is coming from our money. He wouldn't have any money if our kids wasn't and we wasn't supporting his lifestyle. So when you come to my neighborhood and you want to throw a fucking egg in my house, you damn right I'm coming over there and I will kick your fucking ass because this is my house earned my hard work and off of my talent in order to gain for my family. And you damn well, right. Well, come well, over well, here. Well, so well, it, so it. You're right. I will fucking come over well, there. <laughs> so keep your well, 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 <laughs> As y'all can see, somebody here. living in Buckhead neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's just it's just like it is. People defend their homes. They work hard for them. You know, people work hard for their stuff, and they don't want anybody to take it away. It's already bad enough that you got to deal with a bank that owns your shit, even though you living in it, paying it every month. But you'd be damned if some idiot kid wants to come and throw some damn eggs at your shit and fuck it up and cost you money and insurance premiums and all this other extra stuff that you have to fight in order to get your stuff fixed because he had an attitude tantrum that day. That becomes don't your you want, just, just Go ahead and say it, go, go Go, go ahead and say it. You, you got you got a pass. It don't affect the views of UStreamRadio.com. Go ahead and say it. You want to say it. You want to call him. What? Go ahead. You want to call him a wigger. <laughs> God dang on wigger. Just go ahead and say it. You're I, I don't even use that word. I don't even like that <laughs> word in any way, shape, or form. People who know me know. I would say anything opposite of that. I just don't like that word. That's just me personally. But He's definitely he turned into a wigger. You know, he, he has turned into something, and I wouldn't even label it that because then that's labeling all the other people to make them feel like that's where, that's what they label. You know, I don't want to accept a label. I've never accepted a label. You you put that label, you think about it, and you, you use that. I'm something else. I'm me. <laughs> <laughs> with that label you don't know what to label me anyway you look at me you don't even know what the fuck I am anyway so what difference is anyway? I you was know? gonna say that, that's your label anyway that's why she's taking it so fast you got other ones okay, I'm taking it like this for every person who lives in a neighborhood you pay your money and you want to live in a safe environment that I don't want anybody I don't give a shit who you are what color you are what, what the fuck you are I don't want you driving up and down the street crazy in the middle of the night, making my nerves bad, thinking somebody trying to come in here and kill us. And I don't want you egging my house. I don't want you out there blasting your music at 5, 6 o'clock in the morning like an ignorant person because I have to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning. I have kids. I have family. I have whatever. You know, we all party. There are times and places for everything. But he is a young person, so he's living a young person's life. You can't knock him for that because that is his lifestyle. 
it's just unfortunate for him that the way he carries himself gives him the the, the perception of I don't want you in my neighborhood because you like to fuck shit up. <laughs> yeah. So I mean. Man, it's just, it just, it's 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 just, it's
like you said, I, I'm clapping over here. I, I, like I said, uh, like you said, um, major move. These two powerhouses coming together. And like you said, the whole type of, I think a lot of people uh, kind of didn't know how to uh, take the territory. Um, and like you said, the type of slap stick making fun of ourselves. But I guess the angle that he was going at is he had to make light of some things that we went through uh, in order to bring out the serious matters because then you won't be able to touch some people on serious matters if you just jump right into it. Uh, it would be hard to grab the whole entire audience. So people that was a little on the light side, he did it there because he knew he always intellectually was going to be able to grab the people that wanted to think, that wanted to make moves in life. Those, those people never change and stuff. So I guess he wanted to grab everybody on board with this movement. I commend him. I think it's a real big move. I think myself personally, I think Tyler Perry, because he got the other couple of shows out here, and I'll leave it alone. I, and I'm not knocking, uh, you know, Steve Harvey. Uh, uh, I was a big Harsini or Hall fan. Um, uh, Queen Latifah, just the name of a few of the shows out here. And to me, I think that the Oprah Winfrey show and Tyler, what he's going to, what he's going to do, Tyler Perry is going to bring to the table. He's going to bring more intellectual. He's going to, you know, tackle more different things that we're going through versus certain meals or how to cook this or how to do that or whatever. I think that he's really going to, based off his movies and how he tackled different things that's happening in the everyday home, I think that he'll really be able to go real further and be able to reach some of the guys out here. You know, be like that guy over. And that sounds kind of crazy. Yeah. But, you know, be able I, to put you know some what? of our issues out you know, there. You broke it down that way, not to cut you off there, but the, the last word you just said, I just talk something, maybe have to say something. You're absolutely right. Maybe he would be like the male Oprah because, you know, they always talk about and joke on the internet the, the church of Oprah. And it's yeah. <laughs> because she is, you know, because, and, I, and I'm a follower of the church of Oprah, unfortunately, to a point anyway, because there's a lot of things and programs that she has put on her show that's implemented things in the way I've conducted myself. And that's going to be a whole different show. But there's certain people that she's put out there now that have their own launching pad and have their own shows that I followed because of her show that caused me to live my try the best way that I can I should say to make changes in my lifestyle and the things that I do and the things that I want and even better ways to save money whichever direction you want to take it that's why I've watched Oprah so it's probably to be the male version of Oprah and maybe hit a lot of the men that are out there. Like Oprah hit 90% more women and maybe 10% men because men do watch Oprah. It's not, she's not a biased or sexual, you know, uh, division show. But maybe Tyler Perry, maybe, you know, men do need like a show or outlet out there for them to express themselves on their level. Because a woman can't tell a man or another woman how a man is. Only a man can do that. So I'm, maybe I'm he will set up a platform for that and for our young men that are out there. Because I'm the mother of a young man. And I would like him to see some positive men on television doing positive things that will set him in a positive light. The way that I raised him to be. And that everything so, hey. on TV is not always true. But there are some positive things out of the things that you can get. Hey, well, hey, we want to look forward to it. Uh, it's coming up on the Oprah Network. Man, it's going to be off the chain. Again, let us know what do y'all think. You can always go to UStreamRadio.com. Go to our group page on Facebook, UStreamRadio.com, or hit either Lowkey93 or hit your boy Jay Jackson World on Instagram. Hey, we out of time. We're about to get out of here. I want to thank, I always thank the sponsors out there, Cash Land Apparel, along with all of the rest of the sponsors that we have out there. If you want to be one of our sponsors, or you're trying to get something played, or you're trying to get interviews, make sure you go to interviews at ustreamradio.com, A, and we got you on deck. Hey, we out of here. Hey, low key, you got something you want to say before we get out of here? Hey, I always want to just say, make good choices. <laughs> that is enough said. It's your boy Jay Jackson, low key, here on the UK Radio. Let's go.